This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. I'm Francis Yao. It's really a pleasure to welcome you all to uh, the 13th Nathan Bass UCSF Liver Transplant Conference. Thank you for spending today and tomorrow with us. So to begin with, let's give a big round of applause for Dr. Tony Bass. <laughs> Tony will start addressing this conference. Thank you, Francis. Francis surprised me by telling me I'd be first up today. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's a great pleasure to see you all. I'll tell you I'm going to be very brief. Um, again, let me extend a, a welcome to everyone that's here today, spending this beautiful afternoon with us. And it's kind of nice that we're one week from the liver meetings in San Francisco, and we get to have a great liver transplant and hepatology update, all of our own, in this beautiful setting. And as always, I feel incredibly honored and delighted to be here. And I don't have to do anything <laughs> except enjoy some great talks, learn a great deal about liver transplantation and hepatology, which moves so quickly that if you blink, you miss something important. I get to enjoy these beautiful surroundings. I get to enjoy catching up with all my old friends and colleagues. And then, of course, there's dinner tonight. So heaven should be like this. Uh, I want to add my personal thanks. I know Francis is going to get into uh, more detail uh, on this, but I wanted to uh, give my personal thanks to the sponsors of this update. You know, you are supporting a singular UCSF outreach and teaching activity that I believe is now within its 13th year. This is a lucky 13, um, and it couldn't happen without you. And apart from being part of this proud tradition, you have our abiding appreciation and thanks. So thanks to all the sponsors for this liver transplant uh, update. Thank you. And I want to say a very special thank you uh, to you, Francis, and to Peggy Millar, who has threatened to retire, I think, for the last five years. And here she is. Thanks for not retiring, Peggy. And of course, to your able assistance. Retirement is very nice, Peggy, but don't do it yet. Um, you put, again, a terrific program uh, together. Thank you for doing that and for making all the arrangements for this amazing update here at Silverado. I know this is a ton of work. And your dedication, that of your helpers and that of Francis, just shines through. So. Thank you, I want to hear it for Peggy, Francis, and all the people who put this together. And then finally, a preemptive thanks to all the program speakers and moderators. I know everyone is looking forward to hearing uh, this year's great selection of topics. And so, without further ado, I'm going to hand you back to Francis and get things rolling. Thank you very much, it's great to see you all. Uh, thank you, Tony. I always dreamed that I can talk like Tony, but I'll never be able to do that, uh, to be so elegant. So again, welcome all of you to this conference. Uh, again, big thanks to Peggy Millar. Uh, you've always been amazing. Um, so our objective 
for this conference is to provide an up-to-date information on specific liver disease um, and issues relevant to liver transplantation. And uh, this gives us a great opportunity to know more, for you to know more about the UCS liver transplant people and the people who are behind the scenes or are down in the trenches that are working with your patients. And we really need your evaluation and your feedback about this program and about how we can do to make things better. <clears throat> this is a surprise to a lot of people, so I just want to you know, recognize these individuals who had dedicated you know, more than 20 years of their time to UCSF transplant, and I'd like to uh, recognize for their great contribution. John Roberts. <clears throat> Nancy Asher. Uh, she regrets that she cannot be here today. Um, Peter Stock. I think she, he doesn't know about this, so he's not showing up yet. So Peter is not here yet, but he will be talking tomorrow. And then, of course, Tony Bass. Yes. Barbara? Barbara Moore. Is Barbara there? Okay. Stand up, Barbara. Okay. And Henry Torres. Okay. And Mike Dragovich, just made it 20 years. Okay. And then Laurie Carson. Laurie's in And Pauline Rogers. Okay. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to work with you. And uh, also want to point out a few new positions and additions to the liver transplant family at UCSF. Um, Garrett Rowe is our nearest liver transplant surgeon. Is Garrett here? And then Jennifer Kearney has taken on a position as the liver transplant manager. Jennifer? Okay. And then the post-transplant MPs and PAs, uh, Jane Poon. Jane, welcome. And then Fong Nguyen. So, okay. And then Nicole. I don't want to try to pronounce that. Nicole, yes, thank you. And then the pre-transplant nurse coordinator, Christine Noriega and uh, viral hepatitis clinic MP, Jeff McKinney. Jeff, okay. Yeah, we are very proud to have these great people, part of the team, and for CME, it's in your handout, so just a few points. Um, the online CME certificate will be available uh, after November 8th, and then we need you to you know, fill out your evaluations by December 8th, and beyond that, we would not be able to offer the uh, CMU credits. And uh, the, the others are really self-explanatory. So as Tony already mentioned, that uh, we would not be here without the generous support of our sponsors, and I would like you to you know, go out there and meet with them and uh, just talk to them, uh, spend some time with them, because uh, they really have made you know, really significant contributions for this program to, um, to take place. And the platinum sponsors are Gilead, Novartis, and the gold sponsors are BMS, AppV, and the silver sponsors are Genentech, Salix, Estalis, Ethicon Biosurgery, and CareDX. Thank you very much. So, so you know, we met and struggle, and then finally happy with our program. So the list of, these are the list of topics that we'll be discussing. We'll start out with introduction of the ECHO program. I think you'll be excited to hear more about that. And again, living donor liver transplant. Uh, the organ allocation policy, you know, the constant changes that are important to know. And then HCC and liver transplant. Uh, treatment of intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, very important topic because we see a rising instance of that. And then we'll have a you know, serious, serious debate about alcohol, keep the six month rule. And then new insights into the use of beta blockers, hepatitis B and hepatitis C therapy. And then we have reception at six o'clock and then the famous seafood buffet at seven at the Silverado Ballroom um, and Parkway deck. And then we have case presentations in the morning. 
And uh, we have continental breakfast starting at 7.30. And then the uh, case presentation will start at 9. The pediatric breakout session will start earlier at 8 o'clock. And uh, this is an outline of the pediatric program. Uh, there will be discussions about life donor transplant, UNOS policies, exception scoring, uh, surveillance biopsies, and medi antibody-mediated rejection, hepatitis C, bio-artificial liver transplant, and pediatric pancreatitis program. Okay, our mission, the UCSF liver transplant program, our mission is to provide the highest quality of specialized care for patients with liver disease and offer this very special life-saving surgery. And we also try very hard to advance the field of liver transplant through research and our clinical experience. Uh, we have a big team and we're still expanding, we're growing. Uh, we have 13 transplant hepatologists, 13, you know, 13 include nine adults and four pediatric. We just increase our number of transplant surgeons to nine. We have five pre-transplant nurse coordinators, two inpatient nurse petitioners, uh, one inpatient transplant coordinator, four post-trans MP and two physician assistant. And we have four pre-transplant nurse petitioners, three with hepatitis C program, one pediatric nurse petitioner, four social workers, one pediatric and three adults, and one independent life donor advocate. And uh, it is a multidisciplinary effort in order to keep this going. Um, our inpatient unit is a big unit. Uh, we have attending transplant surgeons, hepatologists. We have really excellent fellow support. One transplant surgery, one to two hepatology fellows, one GI fellow, and we have three to four medical and surgical interns, and two nurse practitioners, transplant pharmacists, and we have you know, a great supporting cast of nurse coordinator, dietitian, physical therapist, social worker, and case worker. We have a dedicated anesthesia team and an ICU team that helps us with <clears throat> ventilator management, and we work tremendously well. We also have a very dedicated transplant infectious disease consult service to help us. So our volume in the last eight years, 2007, 2014, you can see that the numbers are, you know, ranging between 140 to 160. And uh, so we we're very happy with that. And uh, this year we have a you know, really historic year. Uh, we projected to do close to about 190, maybe even more transplants by the end of this year. So it's a record breaking year. And we also have the highest number of life donor transplants. We projected to do 37, close to 40, and that's about twice the number last year. So we are very proud of our ability to grow and provide you know, greater access to liver transplant through life donor program. And since 2005, the UCSF liver transplant program has either exceeded or met expectations in one and three year graph survival. I think that we, we emphasize on our ability and our dedication to work with the community and uh, want to provide the best opportunity for transplant through trying to find the right balance in terms of you know, recipient and donor selection. We provide really great technical skill and expertise. We're not picking just the easy cases. We're doing very challenging cases, portal vein thrombosis, liver retransplant, where some of the programs are unable or do not want to proceed with those really challenging cases. And we are the only robust life donor liver transplant program in Northern California for both adults and pediatric patients. So we cannot do this without your support. And uh, the communication, you know, your support is really key to our success. And uh, you know, I am uh, trying to be available by pager or cell phone. If you write those numbers down, that's great. I'm not very good about answering my cell phone when I'm in the shower, but other than that, I am available, um, and but don't call me too early in the morning. I'm a late, late. Uh, um, and we set up some outreach programs, you know, Fresno, Modesto, Santa Clara, Reno, Fremont, and the newest one is Juana Creek. Patients love the fact that we go there so they don't have to cross the Bay Bridge to come to us, save them an hour of traffic. So we like your feedback, and we're really trying our best to bridge the gap between us and all of you. Thank you very much.